Hello Gemini, thank you so much for tuning into this, your June reading, and a very happy birthday for those of you with your birthday in this month. I do a special birthday reading on my uh, website. If you want to click on the link below, it should actually um, take you to that page just in case. Um, but this is a reading for Gemini Sun, Moon and Rising. Um, so if you're wondering what aspects to look at, I would look at those three, as well as looking at your Venus sign, because that sometimes can give a little bit of um, aspect of love as well through there. Um, we're using the Truth Seekers Tarot this month and um, I forgot on the last video but if you do find nudity offensive um, this card does have some nudity in it so I just want to warn people I don't want people to go oh, there's boobs you know I just just you know be, be aware. Um, so as I say, this is for Sun, Moon and Rising. If you do want a personal reading from me or a birthday reading from me, the website link below has all the information as well as access to new moon readings and monthly readings that I do on Patreon. The link is below to see if you want to support me from as little as a dollar a month to help with costs of this, but also you get loads of goodies as well. So, oh, okay, they're saying to put that one down. Oh, there's two there. Okay, so those are for you. Alrighty, we're already on the go. So I actually used these cards from Beltane and um, they were very quick. They were very, um, you know, I used these in rituals and they were very kind of immediate answers. Um, so what I would say is um, these will be very accurate um, for this energy coming in. Um, I mean, I've used these with a few clients now over the last two months and they've been like, wow. So let's hope that they do a good read for Gemini today. I am Gemini Moon, so let's see, fingers crossed. All right, so what have we got here? Five of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Oh, so not so bad so far. And there's the, what I was talking about, the nudity. <laughs> okay, so you've got Four of Cups and the World. So let's see, and also of course I'll be drawing a rune from the bag um, towards the end. So let's see. Alright, you may find this month a little bit of an uphill struggle, but I don't think this is because you feel depressed or you feel um, too badly about the way things are going. It's more like, I have so much to do, I want to emerge already get me to the end there may be a slight impatience this month and i think that's kind of why you feel it's not pill struggle things may not be happening fast enough things may not be kind of come on come on come on come on come on it may not actually be giving you um much hope in regards to progress now this could be work family relationships you just want things to progress and you want things to move quickly but as soon as you try pushing it'll kind of resist you and you might be set back a step or two so please mind your kind of determination to get things moving quickly and to suit your own pace because you may not realize that the pace set already is the one that benefits you ultimately down the line so do be wary of that do recognize that you do have i feel like a good reading here because it's something that kind of culminates in joy and kind of a, a whole um a full circle of things um, and I do believe that you will be happy with the end result. But again, it's just kind of, yay, uh, down, up, down, up. It's something that may come and go throughout this month. And it may be just like you feel like you finally reached a peak and then it kind of, oh, I'm exhausted again and a bit bored. Um, so please just monitor that. So five of pentacles. Again, this is the uphill struggle that I was telling you about. This is kind of you're trying to, you've done a lot of homework. You've done a lot of investigations maybe over the last five years and it seems like you're trying to get to a certain point now you're ready to emerge you're ready to be there it could be um self that you've worked on spirituality a relationship a career something that's really personal to you that's actually getting you to this particular point and i would say that this is something that you feel ready for now and as soon as people would feel ready they expect things to click into place um but it's not as easy as that. Everything else needs to be lined up with you. And I just feel that it's not quite there yet. So keep going. Keep, you know, don't lose faith just because it doesn't happen as quickly as you want it to. It is actually going to go much better than maybe you think it is. 
Now with the Two of Wands, this is a very good card. This is about kind of your inception and you actually worked on it. And now you've got the additional thing that you can really work on. And look at this cauldron. I mean, this is kind of like warming things up. This is the cauldron of creation. This is something that you um, have the fire of creativity burning here. You have a lot of um, potential here. And you don't want to dampen that by worrying too much about how quickly it's going to come into effect. This is all about the passion that lies within you, in your heart and in your kind of mind as well. You can't shield that um, from hurt, but you also can't let it run wild and free. Um, it just kind of be damned. You know, you're not a volcano. You shouldn't be erupting with creativity because then you'll spend, spend yourself. This is kind of what this one says here. Similarly, I think that you shouldn't let your temper out this month try and be very rational um i don't know why that came through i don't think my temper i don't mean that you're going to rip down posters and stuff um but it's just like let's stay your anger if somebody annoys you just take a deep breath and count to 10 because i probably didn't mean it they probably did not mean to anger you so just kind of oh, release it even the frustration you're ready you're ready to go you're ready to see the next stages you're ready to move in traditional tarot you'd see the woman with the globe or the, or the orb looking to see what comes next you're really really wanting to set sail here but you're still tethered and you can't go with everybody else and it's like ah but why isn't it my time yet it is your time but things have to be in place things need to kind of come through and have something that you can um, make sure that you feel comfortable with because if you set off now, you don't know whether there's a storm coming in that you would have to kind of navigate. So just make sure that you trust yourself and also trust the universe to guide you when it's ready. People will come to you. I feel that this is for everything. Like, you may be, I'm ready for a child, I'm ready for a child, I'm ready for a child, come on, come on, I want to get pregnant, you know, with your relationship. Maybe it's not the right time for that. Maybe you have to wait a month or two to actually achieve that. I'm ready for the new step, I'm ready for a promotion, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Maybe something's going to happen in three months where you have to kind of take a step back because you may feel ill or somebody may need you or you may be called away or something like that. You have no idea. Maybe it's the fact that you have to move towards something. Um, for instance, oh, it, it, they flashed it into my head then and I couldn't grab hold of it because I wasn't prepared for it. <laughs> and I think maybe that's why they, they did, did that. You feel ready. But again, I think that there may be something that you're missing. For those of you who are wanting to progress, I don't think that you'll be progressing, especially if you're single, until another person is ready to come into your life. Um, because maybe you're hoping that's when you'll see this person. So just kind of wait. Um, whatever the result is, I do feel that you will feel completed by it. This is like the end goal celebration and, you know, just kind of wonderful feelings of it you have all the elements here you have a lot of um professional achievement here too um something like you are complete as a soul this is where your gates are open and you can start running so maybe the end of june you feel like yes and you can go olympic start you know and you can kind of part participate in what you've always wanted to do so don't worry about it I think that this is all kind of your spirits having your back, nature having your back, making sure that you feel connected. Again, with it being your birthday month, this may be feeling like, look, I'm a year older now. I need to do something particular. I need to do something like what's going on. So don't worry too much. I would say just kind of um, be, they said be humble, but I don't think that's the word that I'm looking for. It's something that I think you need to be this month. And I think it's authentic don't be pressured by social expectations don't be pressured by outside influences like if somebody goes when you're getting married when you get me gonna meet the love of your life when are you gonna give me grandchildren when are you gonna come over and do my schedule when are you gonna take care of my kids when are you gonna you know just the pressures of everybody else don't worry please don't worry about what other people expect of you just go by your own intuition and your own feelings and i think that this will actually work out so much for the best like i say this can actually apply to me too because i'm gemini moon now i'm going to do this rune just now i'm going to choose it with my eyes closed it's just something that i've developed really so get them all shook up 
What does Gemini need to know for the month? Okay, there we go. For the month of June. Oh, moving on up, moving on up. This actually is something that I did on a, um, oh, I think it was a sigil recently. So this is two eyes, this is justice, authority. Um, I would also say it's a little bit of analysis and logistics, maybe a little bit of um, rationality with it. So Geminis, you often look before you leap, but this month you may just be so sick of waiting that you'd prepared to leap without a second thought. I feel that this rune is actually telling you the only way is up, you are moving upwards, you are going upwards, and actually it kind of mimics this here, this little tower here, and this volcano here with the point. Um, so I feel that you are moving upwards, you are reaching a point, you are reaching a pinnacle that's actually going to explode you into being. But I think you just have to be rational about it. Maybe you will see the underlying reason as to why things aren't happening on your schedule. Maybe you will see something. Just kind of be prepared and be rational and just look at things maybe in almost like a Taurian way. Um, just kind of being very kind of, okay, well, I'll plan this out and I'll have a look at here and I'll have a look at here. Because I do think that Geminis are really great at communication, but sometimes you're not very intuitive in kind of the deeper emotional underlying state of maybe the outside universe. I'm guilty of it too. When I'm in my Gemini moon phase, I can be very kind of surface level. It's not the same for everybody, but I just feel that we need to bury deeper this month in order to see the underlying cause of what is actually coming through here for you. So that is very interesting and I do wish you all the best of luck. What is it that you have planned this month? Is there something that you want to take advantage of? Is there a, an occasion that you're hoping to do? How is, is it your birthday? Again, let me know. I always adore hearing from you and I really love reading all the comments that come through. Also, again, if you'd like a private reading with me, click on the link below. All the con details of how to contact me are there, as well as Patreon. If everybody, I think, did a dollar on Patreon to access all the readings, I would be able to do like 50 a month. <laughs> it would just be like so many different readings I would be able to apply my time to. Um, but I do feel that I think that there's going to be some kind of change for Gemini this month. And I really do hope you let me know how that works out for you. As always, thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing, interacting with me and supporting the others that view this video too. I have noticed a lot of community work going on, so thank you very much. I really look forward to reading for you in July. Take care of yourselves in the meantime, and I look forward to reading for you all soon.